Hey, what's up everybody? Russ with RWGResearch.com here. And uh, today I want to show you some pretty cool stuff. Uh, things are moving really, really fast and uh, progress is being made. So, what, 11 days ago I think the uh, photos rele were released from Stan Meyer's estate and uh, things have been taking off like wildfire, which is fantastic. That's what needs to happen. Uh, but what also needs to happen is everybody just needs to collaborate their information and not take this, uh, all these photographs and information uh, build their stuff and then try to sell it. Um, of course, we need to make you know m money for research. I understand that, but the people who are at the basis of these things need to work together and openly. You can give away all the schematics and stuff; they're already out there because of the photographs. You can give those things away. The people who cannot feel uh, cannot build these type of things for themselves will want to purchase them. So there's still money to be made out there for you guys who are wanting to try to sell your you know your research that you that you're doing. That's you know I understand, but at the same time. You guys got to work back together with this. It's about working together. Um, so anyway, so I guess 11 days ago those were released. And um, most of you know, have seen, this is what the uh, VIC looks like. One of the types of VICs look like. Alright, it's uh, square bobbins. And then there's ferrite inside there. Um, and basically what I wanted to show you is, within those 11 days, I have in my hands a VIC bobbin assembly. Alright, this is the first version. Um, I gotta thank a couple of people for, for this being in my hands already. Um, just amazing. 11 days and they're in my hands. Um, and you know, I'm not, I didn't throw these pictures out there for you guys to build stuff and send it to me, but again, we're working together on this type of stuff. All of us over at the uh, open-source-energy.org forums are working together on this. A uh, man by the name that goes on the research by the name of, uh, he's on the forums as Hexar. Um, he has, uh, I believe he drew this up real quick, and then a guy by the name of Nate, he's also a uh, fire pinto on YouTube. Um, he has um, built a plastic printer and, you know, taken that sketch, which he can sketch too. He's built plenty of things for himself, but uh, Hexar had it, had it drawn up, so he might as well use it and uh, you know printed these parts out um, you can see where the the thing is if you guys have never heard of a rip wrap it's an open source 3d printer and uh, you know yeah he totally just printed these out and uh, I think he's willing to print some out for people who are willing to uh, contribute freely and openly you just have to get on the forums shoot some messages around now uh, here's the second version the first one I held up there didn't have the holes in it. Um, you can see it's got the the ridges here. If you look at the photograph uh, in the Stanza State, the ridges for a zip tie, and uh, the holes are for mounting. Holes on the end. This one's got the hole in the center. Now, when he had to, when he printed these off, you can see how the bottoms filled in. And what you do is you can just break all that out like that and it'll become clear. He had to use that as a filler so that when he put his next layer of plastic on it had a place to lay otherwise it would just collapse. So he had, you know, you had to print it in a half like this and then the ends fit on here. It's just it is just so cool though to see people come together and it's so important to do that as well. Now here is um, a version of Stan's bobbins that fit inside of each other. Okay and he printed these out as well and you can see how these grooves are in here alright then he had to fill it in with uh, the plastic so that it supported the next layer and what I'm gonna try to do um, is put these on the lathe and try to bust them out of there uh, because I don't really know how to get them out of there but you know this this stuff is just so freaking cool that people are, are are coming together to build this kind of stuff. Fire Pinto drew all this stuff up, I believe. Um, it was drawn up from the original VIC. Uh, Don Dino Don has drew, drawn up the dimensions. That's where this dimensions came from. But then Fire Pinto had to draw it up for himself. Now here's another really cool piece that Fire Pinto printed out. This is a bobbin. Now again, you can't print it like this because you've got this top layer you've got to print whatever you have flat on the bottom uh, for this style that he's got um, but yeah he built it so you can just pop these together 
This fits really tight. I'm almost afraid to break it, but this plastic's pretty tough. All right, so you pop them two together, and now you've got a spool. So you can make any size bobbins for any size things you'd like. Just you just print it out, drew it up, print it out. Bam, bobbin. So you can glue that together, and that would stay. Wrap a single layer of tape on the bottom, which is what you should do anyway. Um, but yeah, just freaking awesome that people are coming together to do this. Um, now what I'm going to be doing at this moment in time, you cannot find the correct size ferrite for these. Um, and we're doing some research on how to either make it or, or whatever. So at the moment, I'm not going to mess with this particular style. Here is my version of this style. Um, this version has, I bought some quarter inch ferrite from uh, you guys' donations a long time ago. And I've been playing with this transformer. Now, what we learned is that the permeability of these ferrite rods need to be a certain type. Uh, we believe it's over 500. Um, the next set of rods that I found online is 800 permeability. These are only 125. So it's really low, and these are not working out very well. Um, I also did steel, and it's not working out very well. So here are the bobbins next to the, uh, next to the other ones. You can see they're... Well, this one doesn't have the slot cut in the middle, but you don't really need it. But you can see it's the same same dimensions. Okay. And then what I did is I calculated the core amount and it came out with a half inch. Or I'm sorry, a quarter inch was a quarter inch rod was pretty much identical to the amount of ferrite that should be in this core. And uh it's just it's not enough. We need to go a little bit bigger. Um so uh this is UHMW. I turned these down on the lathe. It's a lot easier to make round parts than these square ones. Uh, but if you can print them out, you can do whatever you want. Um, yeah, back there are some pieces that he sent me that were trial and error pieces. Pretty crazy. This stuff is really hard. I mean, it is. It's it's awesome. You know, it's it's really hard plastic. So anyway, back to the words at hand here. So I got this bobbin that I made, and now I have this new stick of UHMW. This was actually um, I'm doing a a favor in return uh, a guy by the name of Dave um, I'm making some bobbins for him he's doing he's been doing this research for a long time and I'm making some bobbins for him so we went ahead and purchased the the plastic and uh, basically half of it's for my bobbins and the other half for his bobbins and I'll be making those for him getting those to him so he can play with this stuff until we find some ferrite like this I'm gonna be using half inch or 10 millimeter uh, and then 3 8 or 8 millimeter ferrite. Um, if you guys know where to get some, some ferrite rods, and they have to be high permeability. See, that's just it. I found some on eBay, but they're like 400 perm. It's not enough for what, uh, for what we want to do. So if you guys know where to find something above 1,000, 2,000 uh, permeability that doesn't cost a fortune, please uh, send me an email at rwg42985 at aol.com. Or leave me a message on here, but YouTube, you guys have been sending me YouTube messages. Um, YouTube just doesn't work very well sometimes, so um, you just, you're better off sending me an email. And sometimes you have to be very patient for me to get back with you. It's been kind of crazy. But yeah, uh, I just wanted to definitely show you guys the type of things that are coming together. Uh, Hexar has also rebuilt the um, um, VIC card basically the circuitry on the car he's posted that on the forums underneath uh, the VIC build I believe step-by-step -step VIC build I think it's called that's where a lot of these things are located so you can go on there and check them out check out all the work that the, the people have been doing uh, but I just have a uh, you know just things are moving real fast here and um, there's still a lot to be done but things are moving fast so I just want to say continue don't forget do it freely do it openly you know, make this stuff public, and uh, if you if you want to work on your stuff in secret, great. But then at the end of it, you need to publish all your secrets and your work, um, so that as a as a whole, we all can get back together and work on this stuff. But nonetheless, it's coming along uh, slowly but surely. All right, peace, guys. Have a good day. See ya.